The cut by Will Navarro. Kwame underneath. Oh. It's Nieto against Mantilla, who's fronting Nieto. Kwame for three, and he gets it to go. That's Kwame. Kwame. Four out of ten. Back to Richie. Gets the step. Blocked. Erased. Wendy, but still managing the challenge, the layup of Richie Rivero. Leading shot. Hit the cut for Navarro. Navarro. And Kwame. Gotta box him out. Aquenti underneath. The cut. Aponeta. Return to. And dominating and underneath. Too easy. Too strong. Yama. What's, What's up, my guys? Guy? Hi. What's poppin', boy? <laughs> How you been? Ash Kwame is in the I'm house. Chilling, man. You, you know what it is. I'll be back. I got the newest Pinoy in the house. What's up, the most famous YouTuber in the Philippines? Oh, I wish, bro. I wish, bro. Coming, Look at man. this guy. Coming, bro. And, and you're the most coming. and you're the most famous Pinoy in the Philippines, bro. Ah. <laughs> man, long time coming, bro. Yes, yeah, sir. Hold up, hold up. Know what it is. So what's the status? Is it like official fish or there's still one more step? There is one more step. I think the next step is presidential, I think. But, I believe, I believe but more so. more or less, it's like pretty much yeah, it's, in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you know what it is. Let's get it, sir. Bro, I'm just excited for you, man. Like I'm super, man. super excited. <laughs> this is the only Seriously. time I'm actually going to root for you on the court, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 how you been I've brother been, my boy i've been doing good you know trying to practice as much as i can especially on the break you know yeah you see. know when you rest is so hard when you come back okay. like when you rest for a long time yeah it's super it's super hard when you come back so i try, I try to stay in shape and healthy yeah you know, man. doing my best where are you staying right now near the nail no i'm in right now Oh, okay. Oh, so that's where you're staying now, your condo? Okay, that's yeah. cool, man. What's Off that? camera. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is the thing, though. You're on my channel, yeah. it's not live. So I cut out any controversial shit that might come out. Because you already know, man. We just want to make, you know, we just want to talk like we like it's just us. Yeah, I don't want yeah. you I don't want you to be conscious about anything. I got you. You know what it is. I you know how it is, bro. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Dwight the other day, too. So I was telling Dwight, like, oh, okay. And you know, Dwight is quiet. So I was trying to get yeah. him to talk. Wait, come on, bro. Give me some stories, bro. About when you go out with 30 and all that. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like, uh, first, off, first off, man, I want to congratulate you, bro. You deserve it, man. For real, for real. You, I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it. What was the whole process like? The whole naturalization process? Uh, actually, they, 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 they contacted me. No, they let me know. The year before I went to Ivory Coast, so I think it's in 2019. Yeah, December around December 2019. So when I went home, I had a long talk with my mom, discuss about it, like what she think about it, because I cannot, I can't make a decision without her, or her knows like what's going on. So she was, she was okay with it. The only fact that you know she was like hesitated about it is if I'm gonna lose my Iranian citizenship. So since they cleared out, I can be dual citizen. I can, I can be dual citizen. There, she said okay. She said all right. I can, I can go for it. Yeah, man. And what I, what I've always said is, I don't think this is all just about basketball to you. This yeah. is like I know how you've embraced the Filipino yeah, culture, man. Like that's true. Uh, for me, because like you know being being here you know having a lot of friends uh base uh you know people really make make it easy on me so i fell i fell in love with the culture with the people so i think this is a reason why i feel like i, I already told my even in the diary and everything yeah. that philippine is my second home because like i i, I feel like I, I will be based here even in the future no oh, matter real. yeah no matter wherever i play so even if i have like vacation break practice whatever i can i can come back here
what was the first with the with the whole process still how was it like you were already practicing with gilas for so long but you yeah. still weren't sure if it was gonna yeah. push through so what was that like was yeah. it was there anxiety there and there was like come on like let's go let's go because because you never really know until they've actually made it official which is just the other day yeah yeah you, you know the naturalization process is really long so for me i, I think uh uh, I thought at that at the time that you know for sure if if they really want to want me to play, it's already said like they already start the uh, start uh, start the process. So I was definitely sure I would, I would be part of it, especially when they call you for Gilas and everything. But the thing is, on the other side, I was I was I was uh, a little bit of how would I say that. Uh, I wasn't sure, like mm-hmm. you know, if things gonna be, you know, the, uh, like going through, push through, like it might have failure. I was worried, super worried about it, and you know, with the help of the Samaha uh, Filipina, yeah, SBBN, they really make it like so easy. They try to make me confident about it that you know I'm really, really are the kind of person they're looking for. Yeah. So for me, I was uh, it was kind of alright. Like I felt I felt good about it to hear that from them, and you know, go with the flow, practice, not think about it, just focus on practice. And even on the practice, I wasn't thinking about the naturalization thing. I was thinking about like uh, I'm practicing this for myself to get better, and then when the time will come, yeah. I think I will be ready. So yeah, that's man. that was my my thought about it. How how old are you right now, Ange? 21, 22? 23. 23. So you've yeah. been here when you were you you flew out here first uh, time when you were 19? 17. Actually. 17? You were here? Yeah, 17 to 80, turning 80. You were already here? How many yeah. years have you played in the UAP? Three? I played two years. Cause like I I, I gave up one year because you know it was like they already started school. Yeah. So I gave up one year, learned English, and then my 18 to 19, that's when I went in high school. And then after that, I went to Ateneo. So you were already here at 18? Yeah. Uh, so people people only knew of you. You were already 21. Yeah. 20, 20, 21. 2021. 2021. Yeah. Oh, so you've been here for a while now, bro. Yeah. It's been a minute, yeah. bro. So how my, was my my first year? Go ahead. My first year was like super tough because you know 